Listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us.
And folks, we're glad to be here tonight on the WOTG Radio Network. We on Roku TV. We on we on uh, be on Facebook. I mean Facebook, and we are on YouTube. And folks, we here tonight to celebrate the going of Roger Horn. I mean not Roger Horn. Roger Duncan, the pastor of the First Free Will Baptist Church in Tampa, Florida, former pastor. He pastored the church for many years till he got in bad health. And he's preached around the country and count meetings. And you know why we consider Roger Duncan? You know, we read in the Bible, in the book of Hebrews, about the heroes of faith. Brother Roger Horn, Roger Duncan, I'm getting my Rogers a little bit mixed up, but Brother Roger Duncan was one of those heroes of faith. In our day and time, he was. And we hoping to hear some things about Brother Roger tonight on the program from his uh, nephew, Ron Duncan, Junior, and we're hoping to hear some things about Brother Roger. He can tell you more about him than I can. I've known him for a long time, for many years. He was a great preacher. He was a great pastor. And I'm going to put it this way. You know what the results of his ministry was? Probably one of the biggest Free Will Baptist churches that they got today. And it is a powerhouse for God. That was Roger Duncan. And he was a great person. His family was a great person. His family was a good person. And they dedicated to God. And we, we'll be hearing some songs too of the, the Duncan boys. This is his family. And this, uh, this now is, one of them is the pastor of the Tampa First Free Will Baptist Church. Then, then our Ron Duncan Jr., he's in a group. There's Jeff Duncan. And there's Roger Duncan Jr. that's in the group. And Will Bo Chain, the pastor, is in the group of the Duncan Boys. And we will be hearing some songs of the old original Duncan family tonight. That's the brother of brother Roger Duncan. And Roger Duncan is the brother. He's the song director at the First Free Will Baptist Church of Tampa, Florida. And this is, I, I've been in many a funerals in my ministry. But you don't know, need to pray for me. I've never, ever done a program like we're doing tonight and, and celebrating the life of a great man of God that's gone to be with her Lord. And we're going to start out the program tonight with a friend that I know that has met Roger Duncan before. And some of his church members have met him because he has been in the camp meeting at Pigeon Forge with them. He's even sung up there. And we had a pleasure of having him on the program overnight. But we're going to start out this program tonight with Bob Holbrook and we're going to be playing many a songs here tonight on this program. And we'll be waiting for Ron Duncan Jr. to call in about 8.30 tonight. Let's take a listen to Brother Bob Holbrook. I 
I come to the river at ending of day when the last winds of sorrow have blown there'll be somebody just waiting he'll show
my dad and him are brothers, so so we uh we're one big scary family. Hey, Brother Ron, we just want you to let go and let God have His way, and we want you just to uh, turn loose and and talk about Brother Roger and the things that you would like to tell all these people that is listening tonight. We're going to turn it to you right now. Well, absolutely. It's uh. It's an honor and a privilege just to be able to talk about them. There's, uh, there's uh, many, many stories that are uh, of such a, a deserving individual. It's, uh, there's uh, one thing I told, uh, you know, his, his uh, nephew, Connor, I told him that there's only a couple of men that, you know, I, I've been around preachers and everybody my whole life, and there's only a couple of men who are as true as you think they are, and I'm telling you, Brother Rogers, one of them. He's uh, um, he he came down in his early 20s to take a church in Kissimmee, and uh, my my dad had moved down to the Tampa area at the time, and um, so he, he they were you know split for a little while, and and my dad uh, started up at the First Real Baptist Church of Tampa. And then, uh, you know, just within a a year or two, uh, Roger came over and became the head pastor there. And so for 40, over 40 years, they were able to serve the Lord together and, uh, and, and really build the church from, uh, you know, probably 25 people up to, you know, um, well over 500, uh, and just, uh, just quite a ministry. The, the school that they, uh, that Roger established um, now runs over 700 students um, and, uh, you know, just great in athletics and academics and, and everything at Scepter Christian Academy there. And, um, again, just still a thriving, thriving church. And, and again, there's just so many, uh, so many things that he established that, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, it, it's hard to put into words how, how he's impacted so many lives. So um, through the week, you know, he just passed yesterday, and, uh, you know, we were able to spend some time with the family, and, and other people have been calling with their stories, and, uh, you know, a, a friend of ours who er, early in Rogers' uh, ministry down in Tampa, they would uh, work a mission in downtown Tampa over on Franklin Street, and so they uh, – uh, you know, they would work with a lot of the homeless and feed them, and, you know, we would be down there, you know, several nights a week, and so there was a, a current individual who's still in our lives who said, yeah, when, when I met Roger, I was living under a bridge, and so he uh, took me in and said, you know, he, he fed me, and, and then he took me to the basketball court. Roger was a great athlete, and so he took him to the basketball court and said, if, all right, if you beat me, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll find you a place to stay tonight. And so he said, Roger began to, to make every shot and, and beat him so, so bad. It was embarrassing, you know, got him a place to stay. But it was, that, that guy ended up, uh, working with my dad for, uh, like 15 years as like his right hand handyman. And, uh, you know, it's just one of uh, thousands of stories. You know, Roger was uh, one of the greatest uh, illustrators uh, when he when he speaks. He just brings stories to life that uh, you know anybody else telling the story, it would just sound like uh, you know I don't know, not very interesting. And he, and he had a way of putting his heart and emotion into it, and uh, it's just just an incredible. Uh, individual to be around so and uh late, later through his life you know he started battling some uh he got parkinson's probably in his mid mid 30s and uh you know they they act like back then parkinson's was like a a 10 year disease and he's he had it for 40 years and and uh you know even added leukemia later and it just just uh, the devil tried to tried to take him down many ways, and uh, and he he always you know stood victorious. He he preached up uh, up until the year he passed, and and uh, just just what a what a giant for the Lord. And-
and he and you were right. He was a giant for the Lord. And and Brother Ron, tell these folks about some of your family too. You know, I know Brother Roger is sung with the Duncan family there for a number of years. And now you got the Duncan boys and tell who all's involved with the Duncan yeah, boys. I, I, I will. Like I'll that. step it up. I'll step it up right above above my uh, my uncle Roger and my dad Ronald. Um, you know, Bonnie and Buren Duncan. Um, they uh, they set a, a legacy years ago. Uh, just one of the neat stories later on in life, we would go to their house and uh, they wouldn't be running the air. And you're you know we're living in Florida, and and Mamma would say. You know, if I run the air, my light bill is going to be up above like thirty dollars, and I, I might not be able to send money to these missionaries that they support. And so, you know, on a fixed income, you know, they're they're worried about saving money so that they they'll have enough to 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 share. And again, that's that's the type of legacy that you know has been passed on to. You know, uh, Roger. There was uh, there was six six kids, four boys and two girls. Um, and uh, my my dad and uh, my dad is Ronald uh, Senior, and uh, Susie his sister, um, and uh, and then my dad's wife Patty. They were the, the original Duncan family of our Duncans, and uh, then. Uh, my dad's other sister, Jan, and her husband, and a couple others were another Duncan family that sang out of Columbus. And so then, uh, you know, from then, there's there's probably, I tried to count up the other day, whether you're talking about preachers or married to preachers, there are close to, I would say, eight or more you know, preachers or, or pastors' families that have come out of that. And that's, again, just just what a legacy. Um, you know, there's a, a, a cousin who's, whose husband is uh, the pastor up in uh, Dayton, Ohio, in a, a big, a great big church. Uh, Sean Beauchamp is out of Columbus, Ohio. Um, you know, Will and Hoy both serve down here in, uh, at First Real Baptist in Tampa. Scotty Bumgarner is uh, one of the help, helping pastors up in Columbus. It just, just what God has uh, blessed, you know, our family with, and uh, and I would say my grandparents and Roger would have to be the cr- the crown jewels of 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 that. You'd, you'd probably have to stick my dad in there too, because if you know him, he's he's quite quite the character. So. Hey, Ron. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in October, 41 years ago, the Duncan family came to uh, Valley View Free Will Better Church in Loudoun, Tennessee, and <laughs> Alan was pastor, and he got to hear him, but I was in the hospital, and I missed that. <laughs> and she said, and she says that you they got to make up the difference now by coming up here and being on this program. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I know you've had I know you've had Dad on there, and I've heard you play their music, and that's uh, you know, we you do, you do great work, brother. Alan. Hey, hey, and Ron, it's yes, not uh, they 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 can very well do it because I'm just about sixty miles from Pigeon Forge. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, they 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 can make that work if they work at it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Hey, and. Uh, what about that Sean Bochain? You know him? Oh yeah, he's a he's a character. You know, the pastor up at Grove City um, at Canaan Land Free Will Baptist uh, in Grove City, Ohio. Yes, sir. He's a uh, we're we're tight as can be. Hey, he 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 he's been on this program two or three times in the past. I tried to call him today, but didn't get no answer. I figure he might have been down your way. Uh, he's probably heading this way. I'm sure we're going to have uh, our services likely uh, in, in about a week for, for uh, Brother Rogers Memorial. And uh, and Will, do you keep Will straight? He's been on here too. 
We try to. He, he just, uh, we have to call him Dr. Will now. He, he just finished his doctorate, uh, uh, I don't know, not even a month ago. And so I, I'm seeing if he can write me a prescription or anything, but I don't think he's that kind of doctor. Well, I had to take so many shots every day and every week. I, I'm getting tired giving them. You reckon he'd come up here and give me some shots? I, I, I think he would. Yeah, it was, he, he'd like to stick you. And boy, I, I, I bet he'd get a kick out of that, too. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, hey uh, we, would, would you mind having prior with us on this program, too, today? No. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It'd be great. Okay. Lord, thank you for this day, and uh, thank you for uh, Brother Alan Presley and, and this ministry that uh, has served so many people. We get to, we'll, we'll watch some replays sometime and see the many, many, sometimes thousands of, of people who who get to see this across the world. And so uh, just just bless this ministry. Thank you for the opportunity to, to speak about uh, my great uncle, Brother Roger. Um, we, we call him the preacher of preachers, and, uh, and thank you for his life, and uh, thank you for uh, the legacy that, uh, that we've inherited and that he's passed down, and, uh, and, and for my parents. My dad, one of my favorite things he says is God has blessed us, not because of us, but in spite of us, you know, to keep us humble. So, Lord, thank you for what you've given us, and, and again, please uh, continue to bless Brother Allen's ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. And, and Brother, Brother Ron, uh, you sent me a song that Brother Roger really liked. And, yes. And we got, that, we got that in here for ready to play, and I got, uh, uh, tell, tell people about this song. I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, uh, Brother Roger, he, again, in many of his illustrations, he, he had a sermon that is one of his more memorable ones of uh, on John 3.16, and it was about a little boy who would, uh, um, he, was, he was without a place to stay, and the policeman said, hey, if you'll go up to that big house on the hill and say John 3.16, they'll give you, you know, some food and a place to stay. And so he walked up, knocked on the door, and said, John 3.16, and the lady welcomed him right in and said, come in and sit by the fire. And so uh, let me, you know, get you prepared and everything. And so he said, uh, getting warmed up, he said, John 3.16, I don't know what it is, but it sure makes a cold boy warm. And so then he... Uh, she she brought him some food and and he said John three sixteen I don't know what it is but it sure makes a hungry boy fed and so he goes on and she uh, she runs a bath for him and he gets all cleaned up and he says the same thing John three sixteen it sure makes a dirty boy clean and so uh, after a good night's sleep they. Uh, she, they told, they shared the story of you know what what John three sixteen means from the Bible, and and it uh, he ends it with it sure makes a lost boy save. And so Tammy Robinette, which is a sister of the Parsons, and she's a you know a, a established singer of her own, um, wrote a song based on that. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Doyle Lawson, you know, in Quicksilver, a famous famous uh, bluegrass group. Um, uh, recorded that song, and so, um, and if you look on my Facebook and go back sometime, um, you'll see uh, the first time I played that for Brother Roger. You know, he was just tearful, and uh, it, it got thousands of views. Just him watching, you know, uh, listening to that song for the first time, and it's it's a, just such a great song. So, but yeah, that's that's a, a great story behind it. So, so go ahead, you know. Hey, I got a question to ask you while I got you on here. Uh, I've seen on your Facebook page, was that the, uh, where he was sitting in a car? Yes, we were at Terry Varney's house um, having a work day um, and uh, after her husband Ed had passed and, uh, and, and we were, uh, uh, you know, he, he was there uh, pretending to work, Roger, he would always be around, around us, and, uh, and so, yeah, he was, he was enjoying that, we're actually going to be in our, in our service Sunday morning, we'll be playing that, uh, that video for the, uh, the people in our attendance. And, uh, uh, I 
I've seen that several a few years ago. I don't remember where, but I've seen that before, and I thought that's what that was. And we're gonna be uh, listening to that song here. Have you got it there, Linda? Ready to go? Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna be listening to it. Could you hang on? We'll get right back to you in a minute. Sure, we'll do. Okay, let's take a listen to that song. And who sings this song? That's Doyle Lawson. It's and the name of it is uh, Best Friends. When he over here in us, locate over here around Sparta, Tennessee. Yeah, I think uh, one of those go uh, attends Chris Rumfeld's uh, um, church every now and then. But yeah, I, I, he is up that way. Okay, just hang right tight, and we'll get right back to you here right after this song. Okay. Will do. Okay, let's take a listen. Are you ready, Lee? <laughs> No place to go. Ask a man, sir, can you spare a dime? The man shook his head. He said, I'll tell you something instead. You see that little house down the street? Knock on the door and say, John 3:16. See me. She said, come on in, there's warm food on the stove. He ate and then she said, a warm bath for you and off to bed. That's when she saw a tear run down his cheek. He said, ma'am, I don't know, John 316, I don't know. She went to the church down the street. When he stood to preach, tears ran down her cheeks. He said, open up your Bibles to John 3.16. He said, he's made this lost boy saved. And I'm thankful for his sacrifice and what he did that day. He found me when I was just a lad. I'm not orphaned or alone, and now I have a dad. And John 3.16 is still the best friend I've ever had. We got we got a song pulled up here that we're gonna play here in a minute, but uh, you might you might have been a little boy in diapers when these guys were singing. 
<laughs> and I don't know. You're not that old. But uh, I want you to tell me all you know about this group called the uh, Duncan Family. <laughs> and and yeah. I, I, they, they, yeah, Brother Roger don't know I got these songs, but there's one of your all church members kind of sneaks around and does a few things for me. And you know who you know you know who that is, don't you? I bet that's Diane Hamilton. And you got that right. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> and and we we love Diane and Alan and uh we love all you guys too. But yeah. I, I want you to tell me what you know a little bit about this group called the Duncan family. That's your uncle Ron. That's your dad. That's your dad. Yeah. My dad. yeah. Yeah, when they, uh, we traveled and sang for, uh, till I was 13 years old. They started a, a year or so probably before I was born. And, uh, um, but yeah, just traveled, traveled the world. And, uh, I remember a lot of bologna sandwiches and, uh, and $20 offerings that, uh, <laughs> that we endured. But, uh, again, as a, as a privilege for the Lord, uh, you know, just years and years of, of traveling and uh, um, going from small church to small church, just doing doing what they could uh, for anybody. And we've we've had several different uh, people in the group. You know, Tommy Thompson has played guitar for us. Gary Rollins has played piano for us. Uh, Rick Truitt, and all have gone on to you know other big big uh, singing, just tremendous you know uh, singers and talent that uh have have kind of spun off of that but uh but yeah just just quite a quite a privilege to be be a part of that well we're going to listen to a song here but then i want to i want you to comment a little bit now on the a group that uh, we're going to have some songs here in a little bit of a group called the duncan boys tell us about <laughs> those yeah we'll do it uh, go ahead. Go ahead and tell us about it. Tell me oh, who no, I, I thought you were going to say that later. Uh, yeah, we uh, as uh, early twenty year olds. I'm forty nine now, and uh, most of us are either in our late forties or my brother's fifty two, um, or will be fifty two. And so, uh, uh, you know, as early twenty year olds, we we kind of started out in their shoes and and. Uh, you know, traveled around anywhere that would have us and uh, just, you know, uh, had fun doing it and serving the Lord at the same time. It's, it's uh, Christians can have fun. Uh, it, it don't, uh, it, that's not necessarily a thing of the world. We, we, uh, we enjoy each other and, and uh, we'll, we'll sing for bologna sandwiches just like my folks would. So we just uh, enjoy, like I say, doing our, doing our part. And, uh, uh, Jeff sings with you guys too, don't he? Yeah, my big brother Jeff. We're we're all going to be up in uh, Columbus in, uh, uh, at Sean Beauchamp. You mentioned him at his revival in September, and uh, that's the last four days of September there. So we'll be up there singing. Uh, and yes, Jeff, Jeff's coming up, and uh, Hoy and Will will both be preaching. And so that's uh, again all we're all first cousins. So Jeff's my big brother though. Well, I'm gonna tell you what I know. You, I know all you guys are not gonna fly up there, and <laughs> and the reason I know that, uh, Roger Duncan Jr., the one you call Hoy, he's scared to fly. He'll he'll take a few uh, medications and and get on a plane every now and then. So <laughs> you didn't think I that, know that, did you? <laughs> that that's a thirty nine dollar Allegiant ticket. Pretty tempting. Yeah. Hey, and uh, we we're gonna listen to some songs of you guys and and uh, and does 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 Sean sing too? He does. Don't let him fool you. He he plays uh, music and sings. And boy, his his daughter sings. You need to get her get a video of her singing. She'll she'll bust the fire out of you. Well, he's been sandbagging on me. In. Uh huh. Yeah. He needs to send me some of his songs. He's a dancer too, so you'll get him up there on the stage. Yeah, 
Hey, that's what we need to do. We need to get him to stop off down here when he's headed your house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get off here, and we we it, it's getting close to nine o'clock. We gotta have a station break too, and uh, right. uh, and we, what we're gonna do, and we come back, we're gonna open the phone line up and see if somebody else wants to call in on the program here and share their thoughts with about Brother Roger. Okay. Oh yeah, he'll light up the phone. But thanks for having me. And we appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you, Ron. I mean, Ron Duncan Jr. Yes, sir. And we love you guys. And I never had the privilege of being to your old church, but I sure watched it on the internet. And every time I watched it, it looked like I'm sitting on the stage with Pastor Will. Well, come, come on down. We just opened up a campground that uh, you know you can move right in. Stay with us. No, I don't want to do that. I want to move in wheel hot by aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> he might have something to say about that, buddy. Probably is. Jennifer would have. Oh, yeah, I got to ask one more thing. Yes, sir. Well, I got you all out. I got to get money's work. My money's work tonight, Linda. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Brother Ron Jr., uh, didn't Will. At uh, one time, to have been a big league baseball pitcher. Him and his dad both. They, they uh, they're, you know, him and Sean, they may not look at these days, but they're, they're some of the best athletes that you will ever, ever see. And so, yeah, Will was uh, invited to try out as a pitcher for the Braves. And anyway, uh, life, life gets in the way of, uh, of, hope, of, of the fun stuff sometimes and you know he, he went off to college and did some other things but uh, yeah he's he's a, quite a ball player he he, uh, he was probably MVP in his high school of like three different sports so just unbelievable Sean, Sean the same way baseball, what? basketball soccer they didn't have football I want you to do me one favor uh-huh. Tell both of them to send me their autograph. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, I appreciate that. We're gonna let you go, and we're gonna do. We're gonna play some of the Duncan family and and uh, Duncan boys, and we're gonna open the line up. Someone else wants to call. Okay. Thank you, brother. Al. Thank you, and God bless you. And hey, I will send you the stuff on this program when it all comes out. Thank you, and God bless you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Linda, are you ready to hear the Duncan family? Yeah. And let's take a listen, folks, to the Duncan family. This phone, this program tonight is in celebrating of the passing of Roger Duncan that's sitting around the throne of God and the river of life having a great time in heaven. Here we go with the Duncan family.
this one I see. You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. And this program is all about the celebration of Brother Roger Duncan that's going to be with the Lord and having a great time around the throne of God. And he was an example to all preachers across this world. And he was a great man of God, folks. And, and God blessed his ministry and what he did. And we're going to open the phone line up, uh, you know, and we're going to pay, give her phone number out. And I want you to copy my phone number down. Some of you might know it already. And, but here it is. It's 423-271-6247. And I'll give it to you again here in just a minute. We got the Duncan boys coming up. And this is uh, the Duncan boys. Will Buchamp, the pastor, he, he's in the Duncan family too there. And Jeff Duncan and Ron Duncan, the, who we just got through talking to, Ron Duncan Jr. And uh, I said Jeff and Will and uh, oh, it's Ron, another one, huh? Ron and who else? And, and uh, folks, uh, this is what they call the Duncan boys. And, and, and uh, Roger Duncan Jr., and we call him Hoy a lot, about everybody calls him Hoy. And we're going to hear him sing, uh, and, but before we play their song and you listen to them, we're going to have a couple of songs of them and keep going on down the line. But here's our phone number again. And if you know Brother Roger, and I guess some of you out there listening know him, call in. It may be the first time you call in. But hey, it just us here anyway, and we're having a good time. Here's our phone number, 423-271-6247. Wouldn't hurt you to call in too, Diane Hamilton. <laughs> Here's our phone number, 423-271-6247. And if you know Brother Roger, it don't make no difference where you're at or where you're from. Give us a call right here tonight, and you tell us about Brother Roger and talk to him, and talk to us about him, and let the world know what you think of Brother Roger and his going on home to heaven to be with the Lord. Here's the Duncan boys while you're doing that. Let's take a listen. Well, everybody is talking about something You can hear as the crowd passes by Some will talk about their wealth and their riches Others talk of their trouble and strife I don't know how to talk to a rich man when compared I'm a beggar, no doubt. But 
if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. Well, if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. About the kind that will make you love your neighbor, but old Satan would say, turn him out. About the kind that will comfort you in sorrow and never fail to make you shout. And if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. Jesus saved me when my poor soul was sinking in sin. I like to talk about the time he has kept me through the shadows, through the storm, through the rain. I like to talk about the time of his coming when I'll see his sweet face in the clouds. And if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. Well, if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. About the kind that will make you love your neighbor when old Satan will say, turn him out. About the kind that will comfort you in sorrow and never fail to make you shout. And if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. Well, if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. About the kind that will make you love your neighbor when old Satan will say, turn him out. About the kind that will comfort you in sorrow and never fail to make you shout. Well, if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. And if you're talking about that old time religion, then I know what you're talking about. that 
that saves from sin. It is still the blood that cleanses within. The highest star in heaven to the depths of the sea. It's still the blood of Jesus giving victory to me from
You see what kind of family that Brother Roger has got? And man, he's got a great family and down there in Tampa, Florida and uh, across the country. And it was great. Now we're going to play a group of singers. We're going to play more than one group. Well, yeah. we're going to play, we're gonna play some groups that sings at their camp meeting every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to play some groups that sings at that big camp meeting every year. And here's one that's fixing to come up that's been going down there for 20 or 25 years. I know it's in the 20s. I don't know for how sure. And that big camp meeting, it comes up in January every year. And it's the Primitive Quartet. Let me tell you something about the Primitive Quartet. I've had them on here, by the way, of phone several times on this program. And, uh, and uh, I asked the Primitive Quartet, them guys, to make me a radio liner that I can play. And then, them guys said, hey, I'm just an old country boy. I don't know how to make them radio liners. I said, well, I got news for you. I don't know how to make it either. I know they do it with a phone. <laughs> but anyway, we got the Primitive Quartet, and they've been going down to that count meeting every year for, I know, 20-something years. And here we go with the Primitive Quartet. This is the life and celebration of Brother Roger Duncan that is with the Lord, having a good time in heaven tonight. Take a listen to the Primitive Quartet. We read our 
from a place that's called heaven. How beautiful heaven must be. When most of us leave home, we'll usually call or send a letter to those we love the most. I believe if our loved ones have gone on to leave with Jesus, could write such a letter today, this is what it might say. I had a safe trip. The angels carried me safely into Father Abraham's bosom. All the thrill I felt when I met the one that died for me. And no matter what you've heard, just no words to describe the glory that surrounds him. I'm satisfied here. Every need's been supplied. Just wait till you see my new home. I'm satisfied because there's no sin here. No murders, no divorce, no abortions. No need for even to have locks on the doors. Perfect peace reigns here. I'm satisfied because there's no sickness. Why, I've never felt better in my life. I have a new body just like Jesus. I wish you could hear the singing. David played his harp and a great crowd gathered by the river of life sang a new song. Of course, the angels couldn't sing that song before they sure were all listening. It's really wonderful here because there's no strangers. Everyone knows me by name. Why, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego showed me around. It seems like I've been here forever. The weather's great. There's a cool breeze blowing all the time. And you know, one of the nicest things, night or darkness never comes. It's like you're all the time for Jesus himself. He's the light of the city. Please remember I'm safe and satisfied and I'm not sick anymore. There'll be no need for me to write again because I was told today that nothing here ever changes. In closing, the only thing that would make this wonderful place more complete is for all my family and friends to join me here in heaven. Must part, goodbyes must be spoken. But when we reach heaven, parting shall be. I stood on the hillside and read the grave markers of neighbors I've known since my childhood days. My memory recalls their sweet smiling faces, but I'll see them again. On homecoming day Oh, what a race have done in heaven and heaven One that will last through eternity Won't it be sweet to be at home forever Because of what Jesus did on Calvary Faces are missing. Thank God for the hope we can see them again. Where flowers don't fade, no hearts will be broken. In a place where reunions never shall be. And I long to see Jesus, my blessed Redeemer. Behold those sweet hands and bow at his feet. I'll thank him for every strike that he suffered. Oh, what a reunion in heaven will be. Oh, what a reunion in heaven. One that will last through eternity. Jesus did on Calvary Because of what Jesus
Jesus did on Calvary.
my Lord suffered for me, carried the cross all the way, my sins to atone. Then they nailed him to the cross, great was the pain and the loss, 
He suffered it all because he loved me. Because he loved me. Because he loved me, my Savior died on a cross. Was crucified. No greater love by mortal man has ever been known. Oh, praise His dear name, He loves me so. Now I am His, He's mine, I know. He suffered it all because He loved me. man but on that third and glorious day the angel rolled the stone away and he rose from the grave because he loved me because he loved me because he loved me my savior died on a cross was crucified no greater love by mortal man has ever been known oh praise his dear name he loves me so now i am his he's mine i know he suffered it all Because he loved me, because he loved me, he suffered it all. Because he loved me, because he loved me. Who is this one I see? You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. And folks, this program has been all about celebrating the life of Roger Duncan Sr. that has been former pastor of the Tampa Free Will Baptist Church. And we're celebrating his life here tonight on this program. And all you people that may be listening in the Tampa area, if you want a copy of all this stuff, you can either message me or I'm going to send I'm going to send it all to Rod. Duncan Jr. and Diane Hamilton. And if you want copies, see Diane and Ron, and they'll see that you get the copies. Now, it could be even in the morning hours before we get all the stuff up. It takes a little time for us to do it. But we're going we're gonna to get to get it out there. And you can watch this program 24 hours around the clock on Facebook. But we, we are on the YouTube, and you'll be seeing copies of how it, how it is and what it sounds like. 
on the TV, and we get better, come up in better sounds on the TV, and we do on the Facebook side. But anyway, we're glad to be here. Appreciate all you people for tuning us in on July the 25th. We got the Souls Desire Trio from down there in southern part of Georgia next to Florida. It's going to be live on this program. Yes, we got live singers that comes here a lot, and we put them on the air, and we, we promote their ministry. And if you're in the area, and you're traveling up down 75, a lot of you go to Pigeon Forge, which is about 60 miles from us. Let us know a little bit ahead of time, and we'll work you in too. Hey, we appreciate it. We want to be a help to everybody. Here's Lady Presley to say her words. Okay, we hope you enjoyed it tonight, and uh, we wanted to do the celebration of uh, uh, Brother Roger Duncan. He worked a lot of years uh, preaching the gospel and uh, his family singing, and and we felt like we needed to uh, do a celebration of his life tonight. So we hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to get on with the program. And, hey, we got them Duncan boys coming back around the front. And they're going to sing some more. Here we go with the Duncan boys. Take a listen. There was a great woman of Shunem, we're told. She was led to take care of a prophet of old. When he passed by her way, at her house he would stay to rest and eat bread. She saw there was something about this man that made him so different from others in the land. So to her husband one day, she would turn and she would say these following words. Behold, I perceive this is a holy man. Come my way with the hand of the Lord on his life and a Savior who answers when he prays. There's a power that's on this chosen man that could only be from the great I am. It's so clear to see this one passing by me is truly God's man. Some years he's faithfully stood behind that old pulpit, preaching God's word, preaching the truth, living the life, and leading his flock. The old devil has tried for many years to tear down the ministry he's built down here, but it's not built on sand or approval of man, it's built on the rock. our sin. One day our beloved's gonna come back again. He preaches with power, with that unction and fire that falls from above. With the prayers of his mother, who now lives on high, and a wife that has faithfully stood by his side. Though the old hand may shake, and the body may ache, he keeps pressing on. Behold, I perceive this is a holy man of God that's come my way With the hand of the Lord on his life And a Savior who answers when he prays There's a power that's on this chosen man That could only be from the great I Am It's so clear to see this one passing by me Is truly God's man It's so clear to see this one passing by me He's truly God's man, this holy man of God. I shall not forget the day when I heard my Savior say, Come unto me, my child, 
Started a fire burning so bright way down in my soul, and it's never gone out. It's never gone out. It's never gone out. It's never gone out. Though Satan has tried many times to make me doubt, but when I feel this warmth inside. I know my soul is satisfied. The flame has flickered, but the fire is never gone out. Since Jesus kindled the flame, things have been changed. No, I'm not the same. He lit the fire with His great eternal love down in my soul. Peace, joy that will never ever cease. Thank God for the holy fire from heaven above, and it's never gone out. It's never gone out. It's never gone out. It's never gone out. Though Satan has tried many times to make me doubt. But when I feel this warmth inside, I know my soul is satisfied. The flame has flickered, but the fire is never gone out. The flame has flickered, but the fire is never gone. Out.
Virginia. Let's get